everyone. So today our dance is going to be a like lyrical, ballet inspired, and it's going to be to the song Ready or Not by Trevor Garrett. Hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, so let's start on our lyrical slash ballet inspired dance. Now this one is really, really fluid. So the whole time you're dancing this, I want you to just imagine that you're swimming in a pool and that you're gonna have that resistance from the water but still soft enough for you to let your arms through. So that's gonna take us into our first section, which is the beginning. We're gonna be in first position. So this is ballet's first position where we just make a little, little angle with your feet like that. This can be a, however small, however big, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna start in, this is called Rava, which is where dancers usually go right before they're gonna start their sequence. So we're just gonna bring our arms up through port de bras, which is just the ballet's default arm movement. We're gonna bring them up and then stretch them open. And then here it's like they're being puffed up and then they go right back to where they were, and then we're gonna open. All right, so this is when we're gonna actually start moving. So the first step is gonna be with our right, we're gonna go over, side, Point, and at that time you're gonna bring up your arm and look at your beautiful hand. And we're gonna go the other way. You're just gonna switch because you already have this foot in front. And we're gonna go one, two, point with the arm and hold. And one, two, point and let the arm fold. And again, one, two, point, let the arm fold. And in this one, we're gonna have to bring our feet back together. So going on this part, we're going to bend our knees and we're going to lift our arm and when we're lifting our arm, we're going to look at our hand all the way until it gets right back to our side. And we're going to do that on the other side. Look at that hand all the way down. Perfect. All right, so for this next step, it's called a pivot. So all a pivot is, is it's a simple switching step. We're going to switch which way we're facing. So we're gonna end up looking at the back of the first one and the second one, we're gonna end up looking right back in the front. So we're gonna choose our right leg to step on. So we're gonna have here and then we go up on our toes and all you do is you switch your viewing point. And then you're gonna step with this right leg again, step and then on your toes and switch. Okay, so now we're gonna add arms to that. So the arms are pretty simple. So in this first one, like we've said about the water, I want you to imagine you're pushing the water out of your way as you step. So we're gonna go push the water, you're on your toes, and switch. Now this one I want to imagine that you're put, breaking through the surface to get to the air. So we're gonna go step, push the water on your toes, and switch, and we're back. All right, and so we're just gonna repeat that whole sequence with this part and the pivots twice. So let's go ahead and do that with the counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. section after we do our breaking the surface and our pivots is going to conclude the first half of our dance and then we'll go on to the second. So we're going to learn who this is called coupe and all this is is when the toe touches the ankle like that and then we're going to take it out into a tendu that just means to stretch so stretch your leg out. You can bend this leg if you want a little more dramatic look that's what I love because I love the lines of the arms and the feet. And then we're just gonna go into what is called a soutenu. So all a soutenu is, is you're just gonna bring your this foot 
to match with this foot up on your toes and then you just turn around and then we're going to do that the other way so we're going to do coupe tendu su tenu ready two more coupe tendu and su tenu last one coupe tendu and su tenu awesome to the second half of our dance. Now, the second half is almost identical to the first half. It just has a bit of a dramatic flair to it that really takes it to that next level. So, you already have the basis down from learning the first part. So, we're gonna go right into the first section, which, like we said, was right here. So, it's gonna go one, two. Now, all that's gonna change when I'm pointing and looking up is I'm just gonna lift my leg however you feel comfortable and bring it back to where it was in the beginning when we were just on the floor pointing. And then I'm gonna switch to the other side. One, two, point, bring it up, and back to point. And the other way. One, two, point, bring it up, and down. Again, one, two, point, up, and down. To spice up our arm step and our pivots, we're going to just simply add bending of the knees and we're going to go on all the way up on our tippy toes to make that very dramatic and look and then come right back down and then the other arm up and right back down your pivots. You can just make them a little bit sharper, a little more like breaking the water, up, breaking the water, down. So for this last one, we're gonna be adding on to what we originally had when we were doing our coupe, tendu, su, tenu. So for this, just to add a little more oomph to it, we're going to be going to passe, which is our toe all the way to the knee. So this is coupe, and this is passe. So now we're gonna be working in passe. So we're gonna go passe, tendu, su, tenu, passe, Tendu, su, tenu. Passe, tendu, su, tenu. Last one. Passe, tendu, su, tenu. you got that down all that's left is you must take your bow as every ballerina does and then that's the end of your dance hope you guys enjoyed